Hello, and welcome to Mayhem Clash, as you might be able to see on the screen there. It's PvP, but with more mayhem. It's PvP, except incredibly fast-paced. Uh, so let's let's actually, while we have the opportunity here, while we're searching for this game, uh, let's talk about Mayhem a little bit. So Mayhem was a game mode released, I believe, in Taken King, uh, where Bungie decided to give you way increased super uh, generation, way increased heavy ammo spawns, and it is a true blue clusterfuck. Yeah, I believe for anyone who played Destiny 2, they may have brought Mayhem back, I don't remember, but um, they definitely brought it back temporarily for a Christmas event. Two years ago, I believe. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's it, it can be fun if you're winning. <laughs> Otherwise, uh... If you're on the back foot and the people know, oh, you protect the super ammo, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. But hey, sometimes you just get to absolutely slaughter the person that's been slaughtering your team and it feels really nice. Yeah. So I am doing this on my Titan because my Titan is a Firemancer and I like Firemancy. That is the first time that sentence has ever been uttered. Bravo team. I'm not sure if I actually mentioned this, but the person in front on these uh, on these splash screens is actually the person in the in the game with the most grimoire score on your team. The more you know. Oh. That's the way it works in this game. In in Destiny 2, they changed it so that you're always up in front. Gains the lead. Like well, everyone wants to see their cool character, right? Yeah. So hey, this is Twilight Gap. This has been mentioned quite a few times in the uh, in the grimoire and other assorted lore update things. Um, very story significant, but we aren't going to pay attention to any of that. Instead, we're going to talk about how I'm using Soros Regime, which was a beast in uh, in year one PvP, and is kind of still pretty good in year two in a beyond PvP. Uh, I have a feeling it's uh, mostly because on the slower setting, it's got to have some kind of big kickback on their sights, right? Oh, it's 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 punchy. It's punchy for sure. But it's also it's also great for healing. Oh wait, no, I'm on my warlock. What? Well, I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you swap to your titan. I feel like I've done most of these these crucible things on my titan, but apparently not. Anyway, uh, Twilight Gap is not one of my favorite maps. Um, there's entirely too many, like, cross-sections, and I never check my corners when I'm playing a first-person game, I'm not gonna lie. Take the advice. Always check your corners. COD, COD 4 tried teaching me, and I just didn't listen. Heavy ammo available. Check your Always check corners. your six. So, uh, I, I kind of, I do kind of like how vertical the map can be if you're good at the game uh i'm mm -hmm. not that great at pvp and first person shooters anymore i used to be kind of okay but not anymore <laughs> so i struggle a whole lot uh in these crucible games but it's part of the game so i decided why not show it off yeah fair enough um i don't know like there doesn't seem to be anything different per se for the Taken King of why we're doing this, but sure. Eh. I mean, maybe if you're showing off the Iron Banner. There wouldn't really be that much of a, of a, of a big difference in Iron Banner as well, because most of the people who would be playing that are... Okay, let's, let's explain Iron Banner before I finish that sentence. So Iron Banner is the, uh, the Crucible game mode in which your power level or your light level or whatever it's called in whichever game you're playing, where that matters... Like, it matters a whole lot. If you're even, mm -hmm. like, one or two light down from your opponent, you're going to feel the hurt pretty bad. Uh, but, as I was trying to say, in this game, most everyone's already pretty high up there, if not already maxed up. So, we wouldn't really see that much of a difference. Except I would die more, somehow. Heavy ammo available. Yeah, that'll happen with, uh... 
you know, supers going off everywhere. <laughs> they kill really fast. Oh, yeah. Yes, they do. And there's no good way to stop them except with the heavy ammo or a super. And even then, some supers are just head and shoulders above others. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm trying, like, I wouldn't know in Destiny 1 what ones are really good. Um, well, Striker. <laughs> uh, striker oh, yeah, Striker's is, always good. Uh, Sunbreakers are good. Void, uh, void Bombs are good. Nova Bombs. Um, Golden Gun is spectacular, and Arc Blade is also really, really good. And there you go. Python hit him about three times, and he only took, I don't know, like one twelfth of his yeah. bar. Yeah, the thing about when you're in a super is that you actually take reduced damage from uh, pretty much everything. So it's really, really, really difficult to kill someone who's supered. Mm -hmm. Now, it might sound like I'm frustrating, but actually what I'm doing is just explaining the reason why when you're on the back foot, it really sucks. Yeah, it, it, it can be not so good sometimes. Especially when the enemy team knows to uh, space out their supers, like they have communication, they spaced out their supers one after the other, and then by the time the last person's super has ended, the next person has a super. Yeah. Like, oh, sorry, the first person has a super. Yeah, like I'm not doing super bad, and I, I'm starting to get back into the groove of things, but at the same time, it's still not great. Heck, you just used one single rocket on me. Mm-hmm. You what got him, guy. though. I did. What a guy. So it looks like things aren't going well for Python's team. Actually, I think we're in the lead by a pretty hefty margin. Oh, yeah. The team Sorry, is doing I'm well. I'm not so much. Normally I feel like you would, um... Like, red or orange would be the enemy and blue would be your team. But, um, yeah. Oof. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, it, it does make sense, rather, is what I mean to say. But in this game, it's dependent on which team you are. Like, I think Alpha's blue and Bravo is orange. Makes sense to me. Did that guy just fall off the cliff? Uh, yes. Yes, he did. And see, that's why I like Hammermancy. Right there. Mm-hmm. Throw it down a hallway and forget. I, I really wish I was playing my Hammer Mancer during this game, honestly. You were saying how much you like throwing hammers at people. I do. I really, really do. Name one of his albums if you like it so much. Oh my god. Heavy ammo available. Whatever, man. Now the rocket's in my hands. Also, you don't have to reload your ammo, which is good for your rockets or your heavy. Yeah. And mine holds two in a mag. If I could just mm -hmm. find someone to shoot at. Oh, look. Well, Python I found someone to shoot at. That <laughs> answer that question. Yeah. It's fine. Now we've got this, which is probably not going to be effective at all. We'll find out. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, find someone. Kill anybody. No. Just spin in circles. It's fine. <laughs> Yay, we That's won. That's how it's done. <laughs> That's how it's done. You run down a few hallways and die a few times. Maybe get a kill here and there. And you win. Just like that. And that's the current state of Destiny 2, everybody. Except oh. remove the get a kill with, um, just endlessly die. <laughs> and what do we get? You're useless. Yeah, I never played Crucible for the for the loot anyway. I did. Well, la -dee -da. I didn't really. If you're grinding crucible for loot, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> and also, please look after your your own sanity. 